In a little more than two weeks, Oklahoma City students will return to school already. It's happening at a time when COVID cases are on the rise again. And that has a lot of doctors and parents worried since most children, of course, are not vaccinated. In addition, students won't be required to wear masks. But as News 4's Emily Aikens found out today, the district is taking other steps it hopes will slow COVID spread. Usually they don't like to wake up in the mornings. And then they found out they go back four days. You see, they all up, ready to go. It wasn't long ago Oklahoma City students returned to class masked up. At the time, kids and parents were excited to get back to some sense of normalcy. And in just a few short weeks, school will resume, and this year will seem more normal. Classes five days a week and no mask requirements. But as COVID-19 cases rise, so does concern. There's still a pandemic going on, and we encourage people to take that seriously. Oklahoma City Public Schools address their safety plan for the fall. Senate Bill 658 bars the district from requiring masks. We can't mandate them. They, they are uh, recommended, but they are not required to come into the building. Which is a bigger concern for younger students who aren't eligible for the vaccine yet. I think that could be a barrier for us until that vaccine is available. The district also says it won't conduct temperature screenings at the door anymore. However, they plan to keep up the data daily cleanings and ionization system in place. Quarantining will still be a, a protocol that we follow. We are still going to follow our contact tracing that we uh, established last year. So what happens if the case numbers continue to climb? Officials say right now they don't have a specific plan in place. We're monitoring that, but we haven't developed like a, this is the threshold that we're going to say we're going to go back to an AB. So even though some protocols have changed, the district's message remains the same. If you're running a fever, please stay home. If you've been exposed to someone with COVID, please stay home. If you're awaiting the test results from a COVID test, please stay home. In Oklahoma City, Emily Aikens, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Emily, thank you. Now, more than half of district employees say they're fully vaccinated. And if teachers get COVID, standard protocol now is they have to use their paid time off. The district says it will take exceptions on a case-by-case -case basis.